Hey, Plant Pals, Mike the Cat of Gardener, and today is a quick cooking video. It's uh, November 1st. Uh, last night was Halloween, and we had snow, <laughs> and uh, I'm in the mood for some stew to warm warm my bones. So I uh, pulled these roasts that were getting kind of uh, old in the freezer. They've been in the freezer for quite a while. Got them on sale, of course, and... Uh, I'm going to use that as the base of my beef stew. I've already got, uh, I took, there was two cans of mushroom soup that were on sale. Mushroom, it was just mushroom and beef broth. So anytime you do, I'm going to use my pressure cooker. Anytime you use pressure cooker, you need uh, moisture on the bottom, you know, because that's what steams and gives the pressure. If you don't have, if you just throw in beef into the pressure cooker, you might get an okay result, but it'll take forever for it to get up to steam it has to release all the steam from the beef it's going to be chewy it's always best to have liquid in the bottom of your pressure cooker before you start adding your main ingredients and then a lot of people use water water has no flavor so <laughs> i had something flavorful so i had these two on sale cans of soup i bought like 10 cans or whatever and uh figured i might as well use them so i also have beef broth to add i have some garlic and i've got these this is the last of my garden why well, i already got a bunch processed in the freezer and but these are some of the last of my uh, fresh these are the last of my fresh kale and my fresh uh bok choy purple bok choy i'm going to put in there i got the beef I of course have peppers and every one of these peppers is from my garden so these are some of the last of my peppers and the onion is not and of course the garlic isn't the broth isn't and the beef isn't <laughs> but you know you do what you can do you know every uh thing you don't buy from the grocery store puts money back in your own pocket and then again i use i'll use mushrooms all the time when i make my uh breakfast omelets and stuff and i love them in my salads but these are starting to get a little bit old and so what i do is i just throw them into my stew they'll pressure cook there's nothing wrong with them they're just not you know as fresh and you know you wouldn't want to eat this at this stage in your salad because it's uh, it's not slimy or anything but it's not uh, at its super freshness <laughs> where you'd want to eat it in a raw salad raw in a salad it'd be, it'd be fine I'd, i would cook it for eggs or whatever but so i'm gonna chop up the onions chop up peppers dump the uh <laughs> the thing the mushrooms in as you can see i got a stick of well half stick half stick of butter that's the soup i was talking about just dump that in and then I'm going to like I said chop this up chop up the beef into bite-sized pieces and the veggies and I might dig in my freezer I might pull out some more I got some frozen kale from probably last year I might throw in there because I want to stretch this out as much as possible I want it to be more stew than soup because right now I think it's going to be more like soup <laughs> and I kind of want stew but we'll see I might just have it as is it'll still be delicious all right I'm going to stop here, get that going, and I'll, be, and I'll be back. Oops, I did want to say before I <laughs> go to that process, um, the way, what I do with my uh, my scotch bonnets is I don't chop them. You know, if I, if I really want super hot, I'll chop them up. But if you don't want it to be crazy hot, but you want that good flavor, I'm going to take the stem off here, and then I so I can eat them to where I, uh, if I find this in my stew, I'll eat it. <laughs> I'll just pop it right in my mouth and eat it. But, uh, you know, um, but you can flavor the entire pot of stew or soup by just dropping, you know, I, I would recommend if you're not a fan of hot stuff, just drop one into an entire pot of stew and then pull it out before you serve it. Like I said, me, I'm going to eat it. <laughs> I love it. And then, of course, these are, you know, two regular jalapenos and then these are two uh, ones that went red so to me jalapenos are mild again if you are not a fan of heat just use one and you can remove the seeds before you put it because the seeds and the ribs are what's hot so let me show you some I'll be right back all right so this is just a demonstration of what I'm talking about so if you are afraid of heat and you want to have the flavor of the pepper cut just the outside part off remove as much of the white stuff as you can because that's where all the heat is 
this is just flavorful and the seeds and the inner membranes where all the heat is you can save these seeds there's like this will grow you like a hundred a hundred uh peppers look at the seeds are just falling out now see me i don't mind it so i'm gonna throw the seeds in but again yeah that's an easy way to uh and you know start to enjoy the flavor of the pepper without the heat there's of course some heat in here but it's very mild and uh to me at least and then like i said try just a little bit and then work your way up but don't eat this part eat this part and you will be okay and then to me the redder they are the more sweeter they are so you know green is mild but it's just kind of flavorless where this has a flavor that kind of draws you in makes you want to eat more but it's all you know your taste buds and uh, it's a you know a small learning curve of what you like and what you don't like i love these these are great <laughs> but i don't you know i i enjoy them but i don't love them as much as i love these and i don't love these because they're hot i love them because the flavor they add to my stews i like these actually more in like cornbread <laughs> than uh in a stew i like them in my eggs but i've kind of moved on to where i put these in my eggs now when i cook but you know even sometimes what i'll do is i'll chop up for my wife when I mean, she makes eggs for herself before uh in the mornings because we kind of have a slightly different schedule so what i'll do is the night before i'll chop up a bunch of onions and peppers the different you know varieties and then put them in a container put it in the refrigerator and then so when she makes her eggs she just Takes a few uh, spoonfuls out, put it in the pan, cook it up, and then put her eggs in there and scramble them up. And she's uh, got herself a delicious uh, breakfast. All right, I'll be back. All right, so everything's been chopped up and put in the pressure cooker. And what I like to do is I like to put some of the uh, Armazon Scrambles Bless seasoning in there, some of my own seasoning blends, and a packet to make it really flavorful. It tastes like it's been cooked like all day. <laughs> is uh, and I, if I don't have a ton of flavorful veggies and stuff in there, I add a packet of the uh, Lipton Soup Mix. Not an endorsement for them, but that's kind of what I use. You can use the generic store brand if you want. <laughs> but it does add a nice flavor. And I just put it on top because what happens is the steam will come and cook down and spread it over everything. And I'll show you when I'm uh, done. It doesn't take long at all. So I'll be right back. All right, so it's been eh, about an hour since I started it. I could let it natural release. It'd probably be a little bit tender, but yeah, it'll be fine. I'm hungry. <laughs> it smells really good in the house. So as soon as the, uh, the button here drops down, then I can open up the lid and have myself some soup. All right, so I just, I just popped the lid off. I didn't even stir it or anything. That's how it looks. It kind of stirs itself because of the heat and the pressure. So I've got myself a bowl here. I've got a container to store the uh, what I don't eat, so I can have soup. My wife and I can have stew for the week. And as you see, the because there's a little air bubble in the uh, the the Scotch bonnets, they float. So if you wanted to, if you're a wimp, you can pull them out. <laughs> but I like them. I'm going to eat them. They're my little treat. <laughs> All right. So that's my stew. And uh, it's awesome because it's cold outside. It was like 23 degrees today. It's warmed up some, but it's not going to get uh, <laughs> too much warmer than it is right now. It might, might get up into the 40s. We'll see. But even so, it's cold now. So a warm, hot bowl of soup will hit the spot. All right, any comments, questions, leave in the comments section. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Have an awesome day.